Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. Oh, that's so good. All right. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hope and pray you all are doing well this morning. Let's see. It is November the 6th. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning. And let's see what the Lord has to say today. Uh, the psalmody this morning is Psalm 118, uh, verses 25 through 29. Oh, and as always, may God bless the reading of his word. All right. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has made his light shine to shine upon us. Bind the festal sacrifice with cords up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. All right. All right, the Old Testament. Uh, we're in Jeremiah chapter 8, verse 18 through chapter 9, verse 12. All right. And the title that it gives up here is Jeremiah Grieves for His People. So here we go. My joy is gone, grief is upon me, my heart is sick within me. Behold, the cry of the daughter of my people from the length and breadth of the land. Is the Lord not in Zion? Is her king not in her? Why have they provoked me to anger with their carved images and with their foreign idols? The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the wound of the daughter of my people is my is my heart wounded? I mourn, and dismay has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then has the health of, of the daughter of my people not been restored? Oh, that my head were waters, and my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for the slain of the daughter of my people. Oh, that I had in the desert a traveler's lodging place, that I might leave my people and go away from them, for they are all adulterers, a company of treacherous men. They bend their tongue like a bow. Falsehood and not truth has grown strong in the land, for they proceed from evil, and they do not know me, declares the Lord. Let everyone beware of his neighbor and put no trust in any brother, for every brother is a deceiver, and every neighbor goes about as a slanderer. Everyone deceives his neighbor, and no one speaks the truth. They have taught their tongue to speak lies. They weary themselves committing iniquity, heaping oppression upon oppression, and deceit upon deceit. They refuse to know me, declares the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will refine them and test them. For what else can I do because of my people? Their tongue is a deadly arrow. It, see, it speaks deceitfully. With his mouth each speaks peace to his neighbor. But in his heart he plans an ambush for him. Shall I not punish them for these things, declares the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on a nation such as this? I will take up weeping and wailing for the mountains, and a lamentation for the pastures of the wilderness because they are laid waste, so that no one passes through, and the lowing of cattle is not heard. Both the birds of the air and the beast have fled and are gone. I will make Jerusalem a heap of ruins, a lair, a lair for jackals, and I will make the cities of Judah a desolation without, inhabita without inhabitant. Who is the man so wise that he can understand this? To whom has the mouth of the Lord spoken that he may declare it? Why is the land ruined and, the la and laid waste like a wilderness so that no one passes through? 
<clears throat> yeah, wow. All right, the New Testament lesson. We're in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 13 through 39. <clears throat> and Jesus said, But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut the kingdom of heaven in people's faces. For you neither enter yourselves nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you travel across sea and land, to make a single pro proselyte, and when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, If anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is bound by his oath. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that has made the gold sacred? And you say, If anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is bound by his oath. You blind men, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? So whoever swears by the altar swears by it and by everything on it. And whoever swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And whoever swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you tithe mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faithfulness, those you ought to have done, without neglecting the others, you blind guides, straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you clean the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside are full of greed and self-indulgence, you blind Pharisee. First clean the inside of the cup and the plate, and the outside may also be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within are full of dead people's bones and all uncleanness. uncleanness. So you also outwardly appear righteous to others, but within you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and declare the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you were sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up, then, the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers, how are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore, I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, so that you may come, <clears throat> so that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of innocent Abel to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Berechiah whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I say to you, all these things will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who were sent to it, how often would I have gathered your children together as hens gathers her brood under her wings, and you would not. See your houses left to you desolate, for I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Wow, this is the word of the Lord. Ooh, get some coffee. <laughs> All right. The hymnody this morning, The Son of God Goes Forth to War. Here we go. O glorious band, the chosen few, on whom the Spirit came, twelve valiant saints, their hope they knew, and mocked the cross in flame. They met the tyrant's brandished steel, the lion's gory mane. They bowed their necks, their death to feel, who follows in their train. Mm. Yeah. 
and let us pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, the holy city of Jerusalem rejected the prophets and stoned those who were sent to her, killing your son, the final prophet, sent to redeem her and the whole world from their sins. Through his innocent suffering and death, gather your church into his loving embrace, that we may truly be the body of Christ, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And uh, just, yeah, these are trying times we're living in these days, my opinion. Uh, but anyway, God is in control, and it's all good. So, i got to go get ready for work, so y'all have a great day. So with that, I'll go ahead and sign off. So, oh, be sure to send in your uh, uh, church signs if you see them. Uh, so anyway, be safe, be happy. And be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow on Coffee in the Word. <laughs>